I just the problem we have is is when you look at history and major change, we are in a period of major change, climatic change. It is, and Book of the Green Race highlights this. At every turn of events, darkness succeeded because good people didn't stand up. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. Good people, they, they rationalised, you know, I'll save myself. The best I can do is save myself to hell with the world. Or whatever the reason was. I, I mean, I, I can't speak for all good people over the millennia. But the fact is that they didn't do the hard yards in coming up with the new dream, the new idea. Yeah? Right. So when the bad things happened, guess what? All the people who thrive on fear, all the people who thrive on hate, all the people who thrive on evil, were back in business. Yep. So get on your run. Thank you. Bye. All right, great. Thank you, Thank you Ron. Uh, let's see if we have someone else on phone real quick. Get to that one. Boston, are you there? Boston? Yeah, hi, Frank. This, hi. This, this is Bob Holmes from Washington State, whatever we call it anymore. Uh, hey, I, I was listening to the woman about the court case and... Uh, I was just curious in your opinion. Uh, when I did mine, I it was I was short on time. I was new to the knowledge and uh, actually read it in court before I entered the bar and then served it on the prosecutor and the judge. I wonder if that makes a difference because it appears that uh, clerks are keeping information from them. So, you know, the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. I just... Wonder if that would make a difference. I don't know if you, there's a way to keep a tally on this stuff or anything like that, but it seems in mind that it has made a difference. I don't know. I just wanted your opinion on that. Well, the the key person in their system in the function of the court uh, isn't actually the judge. It's always the clerk. Of course, the clerk normally in, in most matters is not a senior uh, individual, more more like a junior individual, but certainly with the knowledge that they know that they're directing the matters. The, the judge uh, is certainly there with, the, in theory, the broadest knowledge, but the clerk is really deriving the matters. The prosecutor, uh, in the first instance, is the one, as you know, is running by the word pro se cutis, is is running into the role of claiming executorship over you but whether it be the prosecutor blinking the judge blinking or the clerk blinking it really is how you prepare the knowledge at the matter at hand and how you bring it forward there's no point reciting you know four score at the front of the bar and then moving through and and doing some kind of monologue if the judge is receptive and open, and if it's a bully judge, they'll just move forward. So you really got to have the knowledge in in your own mind, and when you go there, be prepared to be flexible, to use the right amount of knowledge at the right time, knowing that you've prepared yourself. So there is no magic answer to the question. Yes, it's important to have the material prepared beforehand. Yes, it's important to have copies of the material when you go there. Yes, it's vital to have the information. Is one thing or another thing going to be success or failure? As I said on the caller, someone else could do exactly the same thing, exactly, and have a totally different outcome because, honestly, at the moment, their courts is like going to the world's worst casino. You might win, but you might lose, 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 lose. And so it's not about winning or losing. It's about how you conduct yourself. And, and confidence is really responding to the circumstance, not simply mouthing it off or, or running a monologue. And I, and I know it's hard. If you're new to this, people pick up the material and instinctively they will, if you like, cling to a kind of monologue because it's scary. Courts are scary. But if you can get past that, 
you know, test it out with your friends. You know, have a workshop. You know, play roles. They all call practicing, judges practice, prosecutors practice. So why not practice with your friends until you feel comfortable that no matter what the situation is, you can handle yourself. Then you're ready to go into that horrendous environment. So yeah, the short answer is I don't think it matters one way or the other. Yeah? Okay, Frank, I thank you for the answer. I was just referring back to the, you know, the spoken word seems to be more powerful. That, that's kind of what my point was. So thank you. Good on you. Great. Thank you, Bob. All right. Um, there's a couple questions that will be real quick to answer, then we can get back to our next um, uh, caller here. Is there a form or process to use to continue receiving military benefits? And it seems to be a question that once you have registered with uh, One Heaven and you have your live born record, uh, is there a situation with not being able to receive military benefits any longer? No. There is nothing you are doing in any of this where you say that you are not entitled to uh, positive benefits. Nowhere. Remember, what they're giving you is nothing more. They call the word sustenance. What they are obliged to give you is sustenance and no more. In other words, they give you meager crumbs and write enormous bills. For the money that they have generated on your energy into the system, they could pay for your home, give you a wage, a pension, and pay every bill from now until you die. And you, and you would live lavishly based on what they've done. So you have not done anything when you start this process at all to uh, deny, revoke, surrender any right to the benefits. What you're saying very simply is this. Um, continue the benefits because that is part of being a, a beneficial entitlement. These are benefits that you give to citizens, to members born on, uh, on the land. We want to continue those. We reject any punitive benefits. But either provide an accounting for everything you've done, uh, which is what we demand, or later, if they don't do that, then we'll use their silence and their continued insistence on acting as guardian for the straw person to then use that to start setting off some of the other bills. They're not going to give up the trust and they're not going to provide an accounting. Then basically they're saying, no, we, we want to administer. Well, if they want to administer, they can start paying the bills. So no, you are not affecting and nor can they use in any way this to say that a military benefit or a pension or a child support or any benefit provided by their system is jeopardized. No. All right, very good. Thank you, Frank. Next quick question is, how do we get in touch with people in our own uh, state or areas? Great question. Now, as people do the registration, we've collected you know, some hundreds of uh, people that have put in their details and, and say that they live in different parts of the world and, and obviously their emails. And one of the things I'm very mindful of is that unless someone gives consent to their information being shared in strict condition, that information is private. We haven't turned on the workbenches yet for the communities, but I'm going to suggest that through the Skype groups, which have started up on Skype, so Australia, Canada, um, there's different ones there, and I encourage other groups to do that. The UK would be one. Um, America could be another. I mean, it's, it's, it's up there. People are using that medium. Another is Facebook, where there is a UK site now, which I've got nothing to do with, but it's being set up, that I encourage people to, to look to your own devices on how you can um, connect together. As I say, I, I'm, I do believe that unless there are the ability through the workbenches to consent or not consent, it's really no way that I can let people know or anyone can let people know, uh, people in a, in a group, 
other than starting to, to build that. And if you do that, then it can be advertised on, or advertised, the links can certainly be promoted on uh, University of Acadia. So there's plenty of ways to develop a network. As I say, Facebook is a great one, really one. Um, Skype is another way to set up a chat. And if worse comes to worse, you can go back to um, University of Acadia and ask if you want a dedicated forum uh, on there as well for a group. So whilst the, the workbenches aren't there, there's nothing stopping anyone, any person from starting that ball rolling for their particular area. And I encourage it. I think that would be great. Yes, thank you, Frank. Uh, there is, I believe, Canada, uh, Canada chat room. Uh, there's the chat room called United Hyphen America chat room on Skype. Uh, so if you go out and search those out, or again, it's one of the best ways you can connect it is also through the university uh, .ucadia website. Um, all right, Frank, uh, there was a question earlier on the chat uh, asking if you know anything about someone who calls themselves the Pindar. The Pindar, or is that the right word? Yeah, Pindar is, they, is how they had it typed out. He is in Paul, I N D A R. No. I mean, that's someone with a call sign, I presume, but no, I don't. Okay. All right, we'll go to uh, Truth That Matters to Me on the phone. Are you there? Oops, I had my phone muted. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Frank and uh, Terry Lynn. This is Greg Pappas. Um, Hi, Greg. Hi. Yeah. I, uh, Frank, I wasn't going to call in tonight, but I, I realized that I I um, really want to let everyone know that what you've offered and what you've said is so true about many of us who've tried to make a living like myself. I'm 10 years older than you are. And I spent most of my life, uh, every time I would direct towards uh, trying to make a living, something would... Uh, direct me to drive me to the truth and to solve problems. And even years ago, 20 plus years ago, I just ran to the car. So sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but That's um, right. I, uh, 20 years ago when I uncovered the secrets of the mortgage fraud and how we were completely defrauded and I knew that there was something deeper, I knew I had to keep going until I found it. And I commend you because I'm devouring reading all of your websites and, uh, I, I cannot believe the amount of research you've placed up there, but I commend you for giving up the uh, opportunity to become a wealthy and successful man in this world and doing the things that open it up to free humanity from this absolute insanity. Um, I was offered the uh, entrance into the secrets of Freemasonry about 30 years ago, and uh, I turned it down and, and uh, pursued this instead. And I, I can tell you that as this world is collapsing economically, morally and every which way right now, all those people that chose that, that bent to sell their souls for secret societies are coming to find out now that they were sold and they were sold it, but they got nothing in exchange for it. Uh, as far as I see it now, most of the wealthy people that I knew in the past are dying off broke or their, their, their fortunes are being pulled from under them right now. So, um, yeah. and not only that, um, the, 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 the transformation that's taking place with the human race that you're bringing us an offering of is, uh, is profound. And I'm, I'm, whether there's only, you know, there's a thousand of us or 10,000 of us or whatever there are of us right now that are learning this, um, I really know that we, will, we are offering a, a change for humanity. And, and I, um, what you've done is beyond measure. I can't even explain this, how, how it's affected me and impacted me. And no matter where I I go right now or who I speak with and what I share with people, um, this light uh, of this dream that we live is coming out. And um, I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for what you've done and, um, and what you're doing. And, um, well, that's, thank you, Greg. I, I, I have two things just to ask you. I, I wish you'd tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, not feeling very philosophical at the moment about looking for a home and, and, and not having that anyway but that's fine, that's life that's, and, and the second is it's going to come a time where you're going to have to stop saying 
me, and it's yours. 